It's not just a little nip tuck anymore. Face lifts, breast lifts, why stop there? These days, you can lift just about everything. Really from top to bottom, the forehead, arms, breasts, legs, belly, of course. Dr. Stephen Goldman of Beachwood Plastic Surgery says he's seeing more and more patients who've lost weight, but they still aren't 100% happy with the way they look. There's nothing to take up that excess skin except for surgery. You still felt this tugging, this pulling, something was still out of place. You know, I just wasn't complete yet. Kathleen Osteen so, dropped a whopping 120 pounds, but she was left with some sagging skin that just wouldn't go away. My main thing was I was having problems with clothing. Everything around your waist was too small, everything around your abdomen was too, you know, too tight, things around your legs were too tight. Here's what Kathleen's stomach looked like before Dr. Goldman gave her a tummy tuck. And here's the after. She is so happy with the results, now she's planning to have her thighs lifted too. Sandy DeMoss dropped 20 dress sizes before going under the knife. My abdomen and my thighs, the skin was very, very saggy. She had a tummy tuck and a thigh lift at the same time. Dr. Goldman says lots of patients go this route, having several procedures done at once. But he does warn that this is serious surgery, so the benefit has to outweigh the risk. You have to have enough loose skin that you'll look better with a scar there than you did without a scar but with loose skin. For Sandy and Kathleen, the surgery, the scars, the recovery, it's all worth it. I feel much better about myself. I have much more self-assurance. I, there's nothing I can't tackle now. I wouldn't change anything. That's great, they look great, mm -hmm. they're happy, that's great.